I've decided to make a tutorial on crown molding for interior walls this time. I've placed a chandelier I download from SketchUp Warehouse in case you're wondering. Please subscribe and leave a like if you find this tutorial helpful and let's begin. I've decided to go for this design but you can try a different look. I usually just use a single vert and extrude to trace the shape instead of using a curve cause it's faster and easier to manage, but again, you may use a different method. We'll fast forward this part since there's nothing new or difficult. Just shift A to add a single vert and E to extrude. O is for proportional editing and I hold control key to snap. When this part is done, you're basically more than halfway through. Let's move it away to the side and add a plane to make our ceiling. I'm gonna scale and press R for a loop cut. I'll then extrude this edge in the X, select all and press X to delete only faces. Let's delete these edges and press 1 for vertex select and press Ctrl X to dissolve these unnecessary verts. This next step is very important, especially if your objects are mesh at this point. Select both the profile we've created before and the ceiling and convert them to curves. Let's move the ceiling up and choose object for bevel. I'm using the eyedropper to select my profile curve and we're done. Easy ride wasn't it? Before we wrap it up I want to show you the result of switching the direction of the curve. Go into edit mode select all and right click to choose switch direction. See how it got flipped out? We don't want this result so let's undo that. Now if you find yours red when checking face orientation, it means something's wrong with your profile curve's direction. If that's the case, select your profile curve and go into edit mode like before. Select all and right click to choose switch direction. Ours had no problem to begin with, so let's undo to go back to the original state. When you're satisfied with the result, Convert it to Mesh, right-click to Shade Smooth and turn on Auto Smooth. Go into Edit Mode and select this loop to fill, and we're done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.